everybody. Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, July 27, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in baseball in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it is a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, great way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for that free $60 dollar account. All right, here's what's going on for us. First of all, let's clean up what happened on Friday. Uh, we did not win. We lost our free pick, unfortunately. We also lost our premium pick. Uh, going into Saturday, we'll be on a 7-2 and two run since Sunday with our last nine plays, but unfortunately, that premium play yesterday, we gave up two runs and the other team's final at bat, and that's what cost us uh, with last night's premium pick, and of course, we came up short here. We had uh, a total that came up well short, unfortunately, for us with the free pick report. We looked to get right back in the win column, both here and with the premium picks over at DocSports.com. Uh, I've got a baseball play coming up in just a moment, our free pick. It's the only play I like on the entire card on Saturday. I've gone over the card a couple of times. You know, Most of the games have lines, all but maybe about three right now as we speak. We basically know where those three or four games that don't have lines are going to be opened up at as far as the lines are concerned, and we just don't like anything, guys, except the play that I'm about to give you. So, listen, I've been doing this for more than 20 25 years. I don't post plays just to have plays. It's just going to be a rare pass for us in baseball with premium picks on Saturday. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so to speak. And I'm sure we'll be right back in action on Sunday uh, with our Major League Baseball picks. But again, the one play that we do like from Saturday's baseball card is the free play. And I'll have that for you here in just a second. As far as everything else, while we're involved with a couple of other sports, as you know, I'm always involved in UFC. We like the cards. We look at the cards every week. And most weeks, we do have a play. And we've got one for Saturday. It's a six-unit play in the UFC. It's available right now over at DocSports.com. I've been posting my fight picks at DocSports.com since August of last year. We've only had 12 that have been rated five units or higher. We've got nine and three, 75% with those plays, and we're up $3,600 for $100 per unit betters. Don't miss out. I have just one fight, zero down on one fight on Saturday's UFC 240 card. It's available now, and it is an elite level six-unit play, and it is available right now. Now, as far as CFL, I'm in action. Had one play this week. That was it. It goes today on Saturday. As you know, we're 67% this season in the CFL, and we're 109 and 76, going back about a decade now in the CFL. Generally have one to two plays per week over the past decade. This week, just one play in the CFL. It's a good one, and it's available right now, and it is a Saturday play in the Canadian Football League. One more thing to tell you about. Tonight, Saturday night by 11 p.m. Pacific, I will have my NASCAR match available for Sunday's race at Pocono. Got to wait and see what happens in the practice sessions. You know if you follow this stuff as I have for over 20 years when it comes to NASCAR betting and just over the past couple of years as setups have changed and package rules have changed and certain drivers are with different teams and so on, you still have a good feel on what teams and what drivers are going to likely fare well at Pocono unless something weird happens, right? So uh, we basically zeroed in on one or two matchups. We just have to make sure things go our way on Saturday in the practice sessions, and I'm hoping to have a big seven-unit play for Sunday's Pocono race. Again, that'll be available Saturday night, 11 p.m. E excuse me, by 11 p.m. Pacific time, and uh, by then we'll obviously know uh, whether or not we're going to have a big play or a small play or a medium play, uh, but if all goes well again with the practice sessions, we expect to have a seven-unit play, maybe two plays altogether for Sunday's NASCAR race at Pocono. Wanted to mention real quickly, I did get this question a couple of times over the past couple of weeks uh, regarding NASCAR on my Twitter account where people can DM and ask questions and they do ask me about you know why do you wait till the night before to post your NASCAR picks and it's very simple I want to know what's going on with those practice sessions I want to know how certain teams are doing with a certain package and see how they practice that week and how they qualify that week for the upcoming race so yeah that's it in a nutshell it's a real simple answer we just want to have as much information as possible and doing this we've had that nine and three run in NASCAR since May 1st with our matchups once we went all match matchups, nine and three, end up about $2,400 for $100 per unit better. So don't miss out on the NASCAR picks, which will be available no later than 11 p.m. Pacific time Saturday night for Sunday's race at Pocono.
One final note before the free pick. I will not have a video on Sunday. We're going to take Sunday off from videos. I will have picks posted on Sunday. I certainly expect to be right back in baseball action on Sunday morning. Those plays available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. As I mentioned, just one baseball play for Saturday, and this is it. I'm giving it to you for free. It's the total uh, in the clash uh, between Alex Young, who's going to go for Arizona, excuse me, for Arizona, and uh, Jordan Yamamoto, who's going to take the mound for the Miami Marlins. Here's the thing. Both of these starting pitchers have been pitching well in the situations they are in on Saturday. If you look at Alex Young, he's had three road appearances, two starts thus far in 2019, and he's been spectacular in those three appearances. You look at Jordan Yamamoto, he's faring well right now. We like the way he looks on the mound pitching at home in this one. And by the way, it goes at 6, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Just a heads up on that. And then, of course, you factor in that neither of these two offenses do a whole lot of damage in the situations that they are in and the pitchers that they're facing in this game on Saturday. And because of all this, when you add in all the ingredients and come up with that recipe, we do believe we're in for a lower scoring game here than the total sits. It's at eight. Got to lay a little juice with the under. It's around $1.20 in most shops. I've got 16 uh, race and sports, excuse me, 16 sports books on the screen in front of me. And all of them are at basically eight minus 120 for the most part if you're playing the under. So got to lay a little juice but we like what's going on here in the situation between these two pitchers, the two offenses who have really had problems in the situations they are in of late. Last night, it took two runs in the ninth inning by Miami just to get a total of five runs between the two teams for the game, and I expect another lower scoring game. The under between Arizona and Miami is the free pick for Saturday's Major League Baseball. And again, don't forget about what's going on over at DocSports.com on Saturday, the six-unit play in the UFC. We've got the uh, CFL knockout north of the border knockout as we like to call them as we look to extend our 67 percent winning mark of the cfl and again nascar will be posted by 11 p.m pacific time on saturday night that's going to do it for us for saturday we'll be back here on monday morning by 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific i'm scott sprites or docsports.com let's put saturday and sunday in the win column right back here on monday morning